Hello lovely people! In today's video I'll show you how I got this really simple glam makeup look. <laughs> I like calling this look simple glam because it's really natural, we don't have any crazy colors going on, it's just really toned down but still it's glam, it's elegant. With the upcoming holiday season I'm sure that there will be so many special events and celebrations and parties that you want to attend. So I wanted to show you guys how to create a very simple, very elegant and glamorous makeup look without having to spend hours doing your makeup. For real, this makeup look is so so easy to achieve, you'll see. So without losing any more time, let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Moisturizing Makeup Base. I gotta keep this face well moisturized because it can be a nightmare to apply makeup on dry skin. Trust me on that. Next up is the foundation. I'm just gonna make sure that I shake it really well. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation in the shade Light. Let me just give it a good shake. This is not really my shade. It's a little bit dark for me. So I'm gonna take the Catrice Prime and Fine um, Transformer Drops. And this is going to lighten up the foundation for me. So I'm gonna mix them on the back of my hand and this is going on my face. gonna blend it out really quickly. This foundation gives you really full coverage so you definitely don't need a lot of it. I maybe applied a little bit too much on my face but the sponge is going to absorb some of the excess. When I feel like I have too much product on my face while I'm blending it with the sponge I like to take the sponge and do this on a clean tissue and you can see that this is taking some of the excess product out from the sponge so you know, I can go back and keep on blending without having any excess product in my sponge and just, you know, dragging it all over my face. I'm also doing this trick with the sponge and the tissue with concealer, especially when I'm applying it under my eyes and sometimes, you know, I'm applying a little bit too much, I start blending it, I realize that, whew, that's too much product. I take my sponge, I kind of press it against the tissue, this is getting some of the product out of the sponge and then I'm going with more clean sponge and I can go back to blending and have less product on my face which makes me have less cakey face. <laughs> if you have very dry skin and you want to try out that milk foundation make sure that you moisturize your skin really well before applying it and also make sure that you exfoliate really well because it has that matte finish which can be quite drying sometimes so yeah make sure that your skin is really well moisturized before using it and in general i think that that foundation is made for people with more oily skin even though i have pretty dry skin i wanted to get that matte finish i wanted to get that full coverage today so that's why I chose it. <laughs> now I just brush my brows with the Brow Vu by Benefit and I'm gonna fill them in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I'm gonna have in the description box a link to a recent video that I did about eyebrows. I put a ton of information there on how to use different products, how to fill in your brows using different products, so if you're interested you can go and take a look. I'm cleaning up my brows with some cream concealer so that the shape is more defined. Okay, and now quickly priming my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. Today's eye look is going to be super duper easy, so the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna pick is going to be this one here. And this is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm gonna bring that really nice brown shade right into my crease. I'm gonna first build up the color by pressing some of that eyeshadow into my crease. And then once most of the product is on my skin and not in the brush, I'll start using small circular motions and make sure that it's as blended as possible. Now using the same brush, this is the Sigma E25, I'm gonna pick this deeper shade of brown, it's called Nightscape. I'm getting this just on the tip of my brush, I'm not loading the entire brush with this eyeshadow. And I'm gonna place this in my crease right here and see how precisely it applied it. 
this is exactly the area where I want this eyeshadow to be. I want it to be just in my crease. I don't want it to be on my eyelid. I don't want it to be, you know, really up into my crease. Just in this lower crease area here. And I'll start diffusing it again using small circular motions. You don't need to use a lot of pressure with this. Just make sure that you're gentle, you take your time. Then you can take a big fluffy clean blending brush like this one and go over everything and make sure that it's nice and blended and you don't have any harsh lines on your eyelid. If you love shimmery eyeshadows, I think that you will absolutely adore this BH Cosmetics palette because look how many sparkly eyeshadows they've included inside. I've used this palette a few times and I've been actually liking it quite a lot. Now, with my finger, I'm gonna pick this shade here and I think that the best way to apply these sparkly eyeshadows is using your fingers. You're getting the maximum of them this way. Check it out. <laughs> So this eyeshadow is going all over my eyelid. From the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. And then I'm gonna pick the shade called Mineral. It's this one right here in the corner. And I'm placing that in the center of my eyelid. If you find that your eyeshadows are creasing and moving throughout the day, you can use some glitter glow under these shimmery eyeshadows and that is going to make them come out even brighter. It's going to make them look a lot more intense, but it will also keep them in place for the whole day. NYX actually has a really good glitter glue. It's called Glitter Primer and you guys have seen me use that so many times in my videos. I kind of forgot to use it today. <laughs> I remember that I wanted to use it once I already had those shimmery eyeshadows on my eyelids so it was kind of late for it but yeah anyways you can try it out I think that it's a great product I think that also BH Cosmetics has glitter primer which is quite good and the good thing is that they're not expensive at all so now what I did is I took just a clean blending brush and I kind of blended the eyeshadow that I have in my crease with the eyeshadows that I have on my eyelid the shimmery with the matte ones moving on to the eyeliner and I'm gonna finish up my face makeup really quickly before I move on to the lashes and complete the eye look. So I'm applying some concealer under my eyes. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Blending it out. This is the Sigma Sculpt um, Highlight and Contour Palette and for my contour shade, I will pick this color here. Some of you guys were asking me what is the brush that I'm using for my contour. This is the Morphe R36. It's like a huge blending brush. Like look, if I place it next to my eye, it looks huge. I don't know exactly what it's meant for. Maybe it's for highlighter, but I like using it for contouring because it places the product just where I need it. And that's in the hollows of my cheeks right here. I can be really precise with it without creating harsh lines on my face. That's why I've been loving it because it's applying the product and blending it out at the same time. All right, and to bring back some of the color on my face, I'm taking the Jouer Rose Gold Blush Duo and I'll actually mix the two shades together. For highlighter, I'll go with the one from that Sigma Sculpt Palette. I curled and I coated my lashes with some mascara. I used the Benefit Bad Girl Bank Mascara. And now I'll go ahead and add some falsies. You don't need to feel like 
you have to add falsies to this look. If you don't want, just don't do it. If I was going somewhere daytime wearing this look, I wouldn't add any falsies. However, if I was wearing this look for some kind of a nighttime event, I would add some glam to my lashes. I don't know why I did this with my hands. <laughs> this is like my body language for lashes, like whoop, lashes. <laughs> and I don't want to go with a really heavy false lashes. I want to wear something a little bit more toned down, just something that will add a little bit more volume and maybe some length to my lashes. So I will use this pair for the first time today. This is the Eskito lashes in the style Heart and Soul. I know how they will look on my eyes, but I like that they're not super duper dense. And a pair similar to those is the House of Lashes. This is how they look. And these are the Eskito one. As you can tell, they're quite similar. Maybe the House of Lashes are a little bit longer. I've already worn the House of Lashes ones. So I wanna try out the Eskito one. Let me just go ahead and glue them on. I also bring some of that highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. Alright, going back to that BH Cosmetics palette, I'm gonna take that first color that I used in my crease and with a pencil brush, I will smudge it along my lower lashes. Oh, you guys, I love having sparkles on my eyelids. You know that I love wearing shimmery eyeshadows, I love metallic eyeshadows, I love glitters, you know, I love all of those kind of sparkly stuff. This is my favorite kind of eye makeup, sparkly, simple, and glam. Now to lock everything in place, I'm gonna spray my face with the CoverGirl Look Lock Up Setting Spray. I got this in my ear. <laughs> I love this setting spray because it's drying out really quickly. You don't need to wait for it for like five minutes to set on your face. On the lips, I'll go with this lipstick by Ofra. It's in the shade Manila. And this is our final look. I told you guys that it's so, so easy to achieve. I feel like I say that really often, but feel free to skip the parts of the makeup look that are difficult for you. For example, if you're struggling with the eyeliner, just skip it. I just want to give you the idea for the makeup and feel free to do the things your way. Feel free to do the things however you like, okay? If you don't know how to glue on false lashes, just skip them, you don't need to wear them. Or maybe you can go and watch some of my videos where I'm talking about how to glue on falsies and what to do and what not to do. That's in case you wanna learn some tips and tricks. I also have videos on eyebrows, on eyeliner, on mascara. All of those are covered on my channel, so you can go and take a look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That will be really appreciated. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, there is a bell button right next to the subscribe button, which if you click it, you will get a notification every time that I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, all of the links down in the description box. I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!